Hello everyone, welcome to part 161 of Laravel 9 series in which we are cutting the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So in this video, we are going to upgrade our project to Laravel 10. See its current version is Laravel 9 right now and we are going to upgrade to Laravel 10. So Laravel 10 is just launched few days back and here is our project. You can see the multi-vendor e-commerce website. Okay, this we have started last year in Laravel 9 and the project is almost going to over in a uh, few months. Okay, we are going to uh, over this project and uh, now we want to upgrade it to Laravel 10 and uh, so there are few steps that we are going to take but first of all I'm going to show you that this project is in Laravel 9 right now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to my folder ZAMP STDocs and this is my project folder Ecom 9. I will right click services new terminate folder. I'm going to check its version php artisan version and see its version is 9.48. Okay, so we are going to upgrade it to Laravel 10 and we are going to see what issues we are going to face that we are going to resolve. Okay, so that our project will also support Laravel 10. The new users can directly install Laravel 10 to start. Uh, uh following the series multi vendor e-commerce website okay so they can also build this website in laravel 10 okay so a few of these steps uh, first of all i am going to open my project in sublime okay so here it is and this is my project folder and here we are going to modify the composer.json file that contains all the packages uh, that we have installed and built-in packages as well okay so we are going to see that if all the packages are working fine, all the Laravel 9 packages are working fine in Laravel 10 as well. And there are few upgrades that we need to consider here. So first upgrade is that we are required to update the PHP version. See, in Laravel 9, we just require the PHP 8, but in Laravel 10, we require at least PHP 8.1. So first thing is we need to upgrade the version, PHP version, okay. so. I will also open the Laravel 10, uh, see composer.json file of Laravel 10. See, I'm going to open the composer.json file of Laravel 10. This is the Laravel 10 project, okay? So you can also simply install the Laravel 10 project and can see its composer.json file. So we need to upgrade uh, this uh, Laravel 9 project composer.json file identical to the Laravel 10 project. See, you can see here it's PHP 8.1. So we need to make sure that it must be at least PHP 8.1. But before upgrading, you need to check your ZAMP or WAMP server or whatever the Apache server must support at least PHP 8.1. So I'm going to check mine. I can check here in PHP info and see it's the PHP version 8.2. So I can able to upgrade to uh, uh, Laravel 10. Otherwise, if your PHP version is only 8, then first you need to upgrade your ZAMP server. So I have the separate video for it. Okay. So I hope that you can watch again. I'm going to uh, show you uh, its link at the top right side. You can check its link and you can upgrade accordingly. You just uh, require to download the latest ZAMP or WAMP. Okay. You can simply search for the latest ZAMP. Okay. Like download ZAMP. You can search here and you can open the apachefriends.org website where you must install the latest ZAMP. Okay, that must support at least PHP 8.1. Okay, you can open this website and you can check here. Go for the latest version. 8.2 is the best one. Okay, you can go for the latest version of any of the op op operating system. You go for PHP 8.2. Okay, go for the latest version, even if it is Mac, even it, if it is Linux, even if it is Windows. Okay, go for the latest version so that make sure that it must be at least PHP 8.1 okay so first change is that we upgrade the PHP version to 8.1 okay so next thing is guzzle guzzle must be upgrade to 7.2 so it's the 7.2 that is fine and laravel framework is now 10.0 so we are going to upgrade it to 10.0 okay so now next thing is we are going to up upgrade sanctum to 3.2 sanctum to 3.2 so we are going to upgrade it to 3.2 okay so the next thing is 
tinker tinker is now 2.8 earlier on it it was 2.7 now it is 2.8 we are going to upgrade to 2.8 rest of the packages will remain the same that we have installed uh, some packages for the barcode some for the paypal okay so that will remain the same okay so after that uh, come here in the required web uh, here you can see the faker 1.9.1 so it's same and pint uh, it's not there so no issue no need to install sale is 1.18 so we are, can copy sale and we can upgrade anytime we can require these kind of packages and these are some built-in packages as well that we require for our coding and mockery is 1.4.4 that is fine and collision collision is required 7.0 okay so i'm going to modify it to 7.0 okay and after that a php unit it is 10.0 now okay so i'm going to upgrade it to 10.0 okay so after that the last one is laravel ignition laravel ignition is now 2.0 so we are going to upgrade to 2.0 after upgrading everything like this you just require to update the composer you run composer update command okay so uh, this is my folder i'm going to run the composer update command uh here in mac i need to run the commands like this new terminal folder but if you are in window you can simply go inside the folder and run the command like you normally run you can run with the command prompt or with the git bash it's your choice and i'm going to run the composer update okay composer update okay i'm going to run it like this composer update okay so it will see that which package it required to upgrade to upgrade to laravel 10 or maybe some issue will come then we are going to resolve see some issue has come uh, so it is showing that it can't install fruitcake laravel course 2.1.0 it is the built-in package of laravel that is now uh, uh, see now uh, uh, it's uh, uh, not there in laravel 10 so we are required to remove this package okay and now this package is depreciated and we are required to remove this package straight away fruit cake laravel course okay so we don't know what is the purpose of this package but we need to remove this package according to the laravel 10 so what i'm going to do see here this package is not there at all so i'm going to simply remove this package okay not only we need to remove here we also require to remove this package from the kernel.php file at the app http here also you can see uh, this one so you can remove from here as well at both the places you can remove composer.json as well as the kernel.php after removing this package uh, we are going to run the composer update command once again and let's see if this time we able to upgrade to laravel 10 we can uh, baby we can able to upgrade our multi-vendor e-commerce website to laravel 10 and this time it is upgrading let's see if uh, no error will come this time and we able to upgrade our product to laravel 10 so it will take few seconds and here you can see our project has been upgraded to laravel 10 i think see without any issues now we are going to run once again i am going to uh, see i'm going to run uh, project once again here php artisan sir and let's see if it uh, if, if it, it, it is start working uh, see it is saying already in use uh, we have already uh, running so i'm going to terminate first of all i'm going to terminate it and will run again once again i'm going to run it and uh, we'll see first of all i will also check that whether uh, which version of uh, uh, laravel it is now php addition version we can check first of all see its version is 10.0.3 so we finally able to upgrade to laravel framework 10.0.3 okay our project is not in laravel 9 now it is now upgraded to laravel 10 and now i'm going to run it and we'll check if our laravel multi e commerce website is running fine or not php artisan serve command i'm going to give and now i'm going to refresh it and we'll see if my project is now running correctly or not and you can see it our project is running correctly it's in laravel 10 okay so you can see it it's running very much perfectly in laravel 10 as well new users can start building the project in laravel 10 they can use the laravel 10 as well 
फोर आवर प्रोजेक्ट फोर आवर मल्टी बैनर ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इट इट कैन वर्क इन सी इट कैन वर्क इन लारावल सिक्स लारावल सेवन लारावल एट लारावल नाइन लारावल टेन आवर प्रोजेक्ट मल्टी बैनर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट कैन रन इन एनी वर्जन एनी लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ लारावल ओके सो नाउ इट कैन बी अपग्रेडेबल टू लारावल टेन एज वेल एंड यू कैन सी हेयर वंस अगेन लाइक सी I want to make it sure that it is running from this one. I just uh, terminal uh, that terminate that. Uh, see, it stop working because I have stopped running it. Okay, so I am going to run it once again and will make sure that it is running from this folder only. This one I have already already upgraded to Laravel 10. Okay, you can check here once again. PHP Artisan version. Okay, so we have upgraded it to Laravel 10 here. Laravel 10.0.3. ओके आई होप यू एबल टू सी इट ओके टेन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इट्स वर्जन अपग्रेटेड एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रन दिस वन पी एच पी आर्टिसन सर ओके राइट नाउ इट इज नॉट वर्किंग आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू वंस अगेन लाइक इट इज नॉट वर्किंग हेयर यू कैन सी इट इज नॉट वर्किंग एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रन दिस कमांड नाउ इट विल स्टार्ट वर्किंग सी आई एम गोइंग टू रिफ्रेश इट वंस अगेन एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दैट इट स्टार्ट वर्किंग सो द प्रोजेक्ट इज नाउ इन लारोवल टेन ओके so like this you can able to upgrade any laravel 9 project or even older project like P, uh, like laravel 7 laravel 8 you can upgrade to laravel 10 like this you just require to update the uh, file composer.json file okay so you you just require to upgrade the packages like we have done and up upgrade uh, see remove whatever package uh, see causes the issues and uh, uh, and run the composer update command then you are ready with the new laravel version okay so now we are going to continue our multi vendor e-commerce website in laravel 10 as well okay for the new users please subscribe the channel for more updates i hope that you know you can subscribe youtube.com stack developers uh, for more up uh, updates and you can always join the channel if you have if you don't have much time then you can always join the channel to get the complete source code of laravel multi vendor e-commerce website okay join from here and you can always subscribe for more updates of laravel okay then thank you everyone have a nice time goodbye